Hey everyone, this is Jay, and you are looking at the GeForce GTX 970, the 1060, and the 1070. So you are looking at the mini ITX versions. These are all made by Gigabyte. So this is exactly what comes in the box. Of course, these cards are wrapped in anti-static plastics, and you'll get your quick guide and your CD with the drivers. So this is for the 1070, that's for the 1060, and last but not least is the 970. Only main difference is with the 970, you will also get a Molex to eight pin power supply adapter. All right, so let's go over each card and the differences in terms of size, look, and even features so on the 970 you have one big fan and then the cooling solution is made of copper on the top here you'll see an 8 pin uh, power supply connection and these two are the SLI connect connectors and then on the back I still have the um, the covers on these you have one step by step here we have display port display port display port this one is HDMI and of course you have your DVI-D connection connections and of course this is PCIe 3.0 compatible and on the back part nothing but exposed RAM and the PCB so this is the 1060, the same exact type of fan as the 970. I had to double check that. And then it has, you know, accented colors here. You'll never see that once it's inside the case. And then you have this. Um, sorry about the lighting there. You have four instead of six ports. That would be DisplayPort, HDMI, and DVI-D for these two. I like this type of cooling solution because it takes in the air from your case and then blows it out to the back of the case. And one key difference here is, as you can see, no SLI capability. Also, over here, you'll notice that it's only six uh, pins instead of eight for the power supply. And all three of these are actually overclocked out the box. So that tells me the size of the fan right there. 90 millimeter, millimeter fan for all three of these. Okay, so that's the 1060, the back side. Um, let's see, this is the 970, upside down, this is a 1060, and let's start with the back of the 1070. Alright, so you'll notice one big difference right away. This is a metal back plate for the memory, for the RAM chips, and it helps keep it cool. So that tells me that you know these are geared for overclockers right away. Also, these are back. This is for SLI connection, of course. And then on the top, as you can see, that is also back. So this card needs an 8-pin um, power supply connection. On the sides, we have, of course, DisplayPort, HDMI, and DVI-D. And the front is exactly the same as the 1060. So hidden underneath these cards, it's actually the same kind of copper heal, uh, cooling solution. These cards relatively stay cool, considering they only have one fan, and it's a really small graphic card. I wish I had a full-size card to compare one 
I mean, compare it with, but let's see. Off, off my desk, <laughs> let me just compare it to the size of a 360 controller. Yes, we're doing this. So, as you can see, it is about the size, lengthwise, of an Xbox. Actually, this is an Xbox One controller. And so that gives you an idea that this is a small card, but it does have the capability of the full size versions of each of these cards. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and stick around for the next video so that I can show you benchmarks and performance differences between each of these cards. See ya.